Wait, yeah. Thank you. You can shut up now. I'm ready. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another analysis video of the current season of The Voice USA. My name is Juan Best. I'm a vocal coach here in Johannesburg, South Africa. And I love looking at and discussing and analyzing the performances of other singers because I'm a music educator. I love to teach people new things so that they can expand their world. And I mean, most people who enjoy analysis videos um, are just lovers of music, right? Just maybe like you, you just love listening to music. You love watching these kinds of shows. Yeah, and it, it would mean a lot to me if um, if you gain some knowledge, some pointers, some tools that you can analyze with, even if it's only to say, ah, now I know why I love this singer so much or why I loved their performance of the song so much. Not just emotionally or subjectively, but ah, oh, the sound, the vowels, the the range, the airflow, all those kinds of technical things. Anyway, I've decided to take a look at Kim Cruz, um, at Kim Cruz's top 10 performance just this weekend. And she, of course, sang Love on the Brain by Rihanna. And I realized I haven't yet chatted about Kim, so I would like to do that now. Just to get close to you Can we learn something, baby? And I'll run for miles Just to get a taste Very nice, yeah. So I think it was a smart song choice for Kim. She, of course, has a has a big voice, very soulful voice, with a bit of a rasp in it. Um, and 
there is some similarity between her her sound and Rihanna's sound. <clears throat> Although Rihanna's sound for me is more a pop sound than Kim's traditionally, or naturally, I should say, is more a soul sound. But uh, I thought it was a brilliant choice for her. Also, Kim's skill is, is, is really high. She can really go high, low, fast, slow, soft, loud, just call it and she'll do it, you know. Or how do we always say, bring it and I'll sing it. That's what she's like in terms of her vocal skill. Um, she knows who she is as a singer, as a performer, as an artist. Um, she makes... I've actually only heard her make the right choices in terms of style, stylistically, how she interprets songs. She Because she knows. She knows herself. She knows how to make the song sound like Kim. Um, she chooses well. I thought it was really, really well done. Um, the way she uses the stage for me is very organic and very, yeah, skillfully done. It seems natural and organic, like I said, but it's done, it's done well. It's not by chance that she moves the way she does, you know. It comes from doing it a lot and, and knowing your body, knowing your st- knowing yourself, knowing your voice, your personality. It's terrible if somebody looks like what they do on the stage in terms of using the stage, using the space, interacting with the musicians or looking into the camera, all that kind of stuff. It's terrible if it looks forced, if it looks planned. So that's a challenge, right? Especially of a young singer, like we have a few really young ones in this in this top 10, like Rowan and like... Um, the other dude, Pape, uh, Lape, what's his name? I can't remember now. Uh, his surname is Lape. Um, very young. So if you're young, you have to just do it a lot so that you can get better at it. I mean, duh, this is how life works, right? So someone like Kim clearly has more experience and she knows herself. She knows how to do that. So I thought, brilliant song choice. I thought it was in the right key for her. Uh, incidentally, she sang it in the same key as the original of uh, Rihanna, which is G major. So beautifully, beautifully done. Um, I really enjoy listening to Kim, and I also enjoy watching her perform. And I hope people vote for her. Thanks for joining me. It's always fun to talk about these things with you guys. Please do let me know how you feel in the comments. I interact with as many as I can, and I really do appreciate the comments. Thanks again. So until we speak again, please take care of yourself.